Interesting. Now, speaking of elections, yeah. this Tuesday, June 7th, is the California primaries. Yeah. Donald Trump. What do you... What do you think his chances are of actually becoming president here in the United States? I think his chances are, assuming the Democrats don't rig the election, I think his chance is like 200%. I agree. <laughs> I think that every single political pundit out there has made a complete jackass out of themselves because every single person that is supposed to be a political expert has laughed about his presidency, has laughed at the, the chances of him even making it to the nomination, or the nomination. They, everybody joked that he would never be the nominee, and he has um, proved everyone wrong at every stop and every step of the way. And, you know, the man that has the last laugh is the man that laughs the longest, right? And I think that Donald is on his way to laughing his ass off from the Oval Office. <laughs> you know, I, was, I was really bummed that he didn't run in 2012. You know, um, I thought he, I think it's better timing now. Yeah. But I think it would have made a whole more interesting story for 2012. You know what? He In, t in 2012, he wouldn't have gotten, he wouldn't become as popular. Because people weren't as angry yeah. and to be bl like blunt about it America wasn't as messed up and now that crime has skyrocketed people are losing their jobs and the economy is in the tank and it's directly affecting people like my my like my building my apartment building I live alone just in the past year it's been broken into so many times that my manager my building had a higher security team and I've lived there for years and we've never had these kinds of issues but it's like everywhere. I'm from Chicago. The crime just this year alone already has gone up 100%. So I really had to hit, I think, that tipping point for where it started to directly affect so many people, where people are just so pissed off. And I don't think he would have been as popular in 2012. Um, but, you know, he's striking a chord with, like, how a lot of people feel. And um, he's proved everyone wrong. So I just, I think it's great. I think it's, it's getting so many people in involved with the election that normally wouldn't be involved. And... It's, That's good and bad. It's good and bad. Um, protesters and the violent protesters are very bad, but uh, I think it's, I think, uh, you know what, people haven't been this excited about a candidate uh, since Obama, actually, um, but the Republicans haven't been this excited about a candidate, like, since Reagan. And I have to say it because I used to work for George W. Bush, and I loved him, but the conservative base was not this excited about anyone that I, in my lifetime, except for Reagan. So it's just really cool to see people like so fired up and you know excited and he certainly brings a huge entertainment value to this race I mean I went to a Trump rally and I, I laughed my butt off the whole time because he's so freaking funny like so anyways he's smart funny and uh, he'd say he's good-looking too so awesome. well, Liz I appreciate your time Thank I'm definitely so be buying your book everybody go out and vote on Tuesday go out uh, and vote.